Developing tonight, members of the Greater Orlando Airport Authority are voting on whether to move forward with plans to replace TSA workers with private security. News 6 reporter Clay Lepard is live outside OIA this evening. And Clay, uh, what happened in that board meeting? Lisa, more than two hours later, that discussion just wrapped up. We're right outside the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority's boardroom and offices right now. Now, they initially were set to debate on whether or not to begin the process of looking into con changing from TSA agents for screeners to a private security firm. What ended up happening was a little bit different than a lot of people expected. The board ended up voting 6-1 to approve beginning that process if and only if they cannot reconcile what they call differences they have with upper management of TSA here locally. Now, there were dozens of TSA agents inside this boardroom, many of them sharing their stories about how being laid off could hurt them. Initially, a memorandum was sent to the board detailing how a study showed customer satisfaction was dropping and wait times through screening were going to increase. But about halfway through the meeting, both the CEO of the airport and the chairman of the board explained how a change was needed, not with the TSA agents at the airport, but with the upper management locally here with TSA. That prompted quite the applause from TSA agents and other union members. Two top TSA directors were seen leaving that meeting earlier and before those comments were made. And we spoke with several TSA agents after this meeting just ended, and they aren't too happy with how they appear to be in the middle of what they call a fight between upper TSA management and upper airport management. And again, the board is set to come back in April after what they say they will be discussing with local union leaders, uh, legislators in Washington, members of TSA in Washington, to further continue this discussion about whether they're going to continue looking into possibly converting a screening here at the airport from TSA agents to private security screeners. At the Orlando International Airport, Clay Lepard, News 6.